Hey, what's going on guys? It's Boss and welcome back to another one of my videos and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a future map in Black Ops 3 Zombies that will happen. Over 11,000 years ago, there existed an island nation located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean populated by a noble and powerful race. The people of this land possessed great wealth thanks to the natural resources found throughout their island. The island was a center for trade and commerce. The rulers of this land held sway over the people and land of their own island and well into Europe and Africa. This was the island of Atlantis. For generations, the Atlanteans lived simple, virtuous lives, but slowly they began to change. Greed and power began to corrupt them. When Zeus saw the immortality of the Atlanteans, he gathered the other gods to determine a suitable punishment. Soon, in one violent surge, it was gone. The island of Atlantis, its people, and its memory were swallowed by the sea. That story right there is Shadows of Evil. You can take the entirety of that story and pretty much apply it to everything that the Shadows of Evil map is. And, uh... The whole story is about sinners and how they're going to live out the rest of their lives in a sort of a purgatory mode and suffer forever because they were corrupted by power and greed and these four characters that we have in Shadows of Evil are just that. And they are now left there to suffer for all eternity. Just looking at the overall architecture of the map, if you just take a walk around the map a little, you can notice that this would kind of look very different underwater. And the whole film noir style of this map just kind of fades away. Well, you might be saying uh, it's not Atlantis because it's not underwater. Well, Atlantis is not supposed to be underwater. It's an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and... The only reason that it was sunk was because of the whole corruption and greed situation. The god or the gods wanted to sink it because they were tired of it. And what you're witnessing in Shadows of Evil is that actually happening. There's actually a poster that you can see in uh, Morg City where you actually go to the Femme Fatales part of the map and you can see a poster that shows a kraken holding up the city and it says the missing city which references Atlantis because it is the missing city. Now you might be thinking, well, why is the Kraken in the sky instead of underneath us? Well, we can't really tell what's underneath us. For all we know, there could be a Kraken holding up the city, but we can't tell because we can't look underneath the map. But we can tell that there is a giant ass Kraken in the sky and it just keeps getting closer and closer. And when you complete the Easter egg, it's really damn close. And you might be thinking, why is it coming from the sky? Well, well, in my opinion, I think that that is uh, resembling the sinking of Atlantis. And the reason he is in the sky is because I believe that the Shadows of Evil map is actually in another dimension. And when I say another dimension, I'm thinking of something like uh, some sort of a purgatory where they're actually staying there and suffering, kind of like hell. And, and in this dimension, uh, everything that is up is down. And everything that is down is up as above so below just look at the theme of this map everything is cthulhu themed it's all tentacles and where do tentacles belong underwater there are just massive undeniably obvious parallels here and you can't discredit this because it is beyond obvious it's all there for you to see in plain sight so i believe that this is some sort of a treyarch twist to uh, the legend the myth of atlantis and uh i think that the apothecans resemble zeus or Poseidon or whoever is the god that is condemning the souls of these people that are corrupted by greed and power. And the parallels between these stories are just undeniably obvious and uh, I don't have to mention it twice, it's just obvious. I mean, this is the story of Atlantis, but it's uh, Treyarch's twist on it, so again, a lot of people are gonna say that, you know, this isn't Atlantis because, you know, it's not underwater. Well, the island might have not sunk yet, uh, it might be in the process of actually doing that, 
or in this version, uh, in Treyarch's version, that doesn't happen. Like I said, they might be going up instead of down, and up is down, so... <laughs> And uh, in conclusion, the Shadows of Evil map is literally the story of Atlantis, uh, believe it or not. It is because there's just too much undeniable evidence here, and uh, it's the story of Atlantis, but it just seems that, you know, it's Treyarch's twist on it because not everything is directly similar. Now, I want to go ahead and credit Play the Game Central for this video. They obviously uh, know everything about zombies and what's going to happen, and they're being fed all this stuff via Treyarch, and they get all of this exclusive information, and uh, they make videos about it. Uh, very, very cryptic video, so I want to go ahead and thank them. I'll have a link down in the description below if you want to go check their channel out. But uh, they essentially pretty much confirmed that this was Atlantis and uh, that there is another island and it's, I guess you could say a sister island for Atlantis and it's Lumeria. There's actually a map uh, I'm going to show right here on screen and you can see that these islands are oceans apart and apparently Lumeria was already sunken before Atlantis was in the process of being sunk. If you go ahead and take a look around Shadows of Evil, which is essentially Atlantis, you find information about the other island, the sister island, and that is Lemuria. You find certain scraps uh, around the map that reference the island uh, with coordinates and other stuff relating to parallel universes, interstellar travel, and uh, destroyed dimensions and uh, these pages are from apparently Maxis's diary and um, it's just a whole bunch of confusing stuff but with the coordinates it basically leads us to uh, various coordinates that upon further investigation involves you know dark magic connects to Nero the magician and on shadows of evil obviously and essentially if the dots are all connected Lumeria pretty much pops up and it's referenced within all of this uh, information that's all crammed together so it seems as if uh, Treyarch has been heavily influenced by Lovecraft and his stories obviously with all the tentacle creatures and everything that's going on and, and Lovecraft had a hand in uh, these stories and he made a lot of kind of mythical stories like this involving Atlantis and Lumeria and stuff like that and I think that Treyarch is kind of using those stories as plot points and stuff like that obviously with their own twists and and uh, I really do believe that they're going to carry out uh, more of his kind of theme with the rest of the maps. With Lumeria, uh, it was actually populated by an ancient alien race. And uh, that obviously is talking about the Apothecans. And the Apothecans are the creatures in shadows of evil. I mean, just, uh, just again, there is just undeniable evidence here uh, that all of this is connected and that Lumeria will be one of the future maps. There's just way too much evidence here uh, to discredit this and uh, in the future I do believe we'll be seeing Lumeria and just the uh, wild connections that we're finding here. It's all amazing and I, I love Treyarch for their storyline and uh, this is why I love zombies. It's all about the zombie storyline and it's really all just twisted and uh, so convoluted that I can't even, I hardly even know what I'm saying in this commentary but you know I'm trying my best here and uh, hopefully you guys were entertained by this video somewhat but apparently this uh lumeria is actually gonna be a future map and i guess you could say the proof that i have of this is play the game central again uh they get all of this information from treyarch and they are saying that this is going to be a future map and uh, i really don't know what to think i mean again this you know it might not happen but it's very likely because they have uh, predicted a lot of stuff and it has happened and I do think that you know we will be playing in an underwater map uh, regardless if this is not all true anyways because we've been asking for something like this for a very long time and uh, just Atlantis is like the number one map uh, in my opinion that I if you asked any zombie player a lot of people would just say Atlantis because that's what we all want because that just seems like an amazing map. That would be my number one map and uh, I, 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 mean, I don't know. I just can't wait to see what happens, what is in store for us for the future. And uh, apparently it's happening. So uh, it's not necessarily Atlantis uh, with the whole underwater city thing, but uh, it is 
another island that's related to Atlantis and it's underwater as well. So that is, you know, that's good enough for me. We get to play in an underwater city map in the future apparently so that's gonna be it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please leave a rating please subscribe and have a wonderful day see you later